do. Here and... Alright. He brought too many socks. <laughs> Hello and welcome. This is I seen you before playing Dominions 4 as Late Age Servirus. And for this episode, I'm joined by Sam. How are you doing? Doing fine. We've got cars now. <laughs> yeah. We, from last episode, we successfully summoned our cars. And now we're facing attacks from Bogras and men all along. So men has had um, Black Hawk spawned on this. Nothing too fearful. As you can see, a province defense of 10 can easily take care of this. Done. Yeah. And uh, he also tried on Servirus itself, but that kind of speaks for itself. As there's no real, no real need to watch this. Um, Bogorus decided to attack them straight, to attack us straight up. And again, <laughs> he's lost his commander straight up. Yeah, door, that's, that's door just, command. That's, that's like. amazing. Look. Oh wait. Is it? <clears throat> it's a new battle, right? Or is it an old one? It might be an old one. <clears throat> Anyways, um... It was always with Bogris getting their commander look killed. Look at this, just like bow. Dead. Okay. That's why he brings. And then More of course, the, the Zuts and the Archers, we won't be able to withstand those. On, uh, this province was able to. Just shoot more arrows and they can put... Um, what was here? Our battles were attacking men on his own lands, and again, I forgot to set the formation here, but that wasn't such a big deal. We um, also, we decided to attack Elmreich with our army right here. Let me just put it up. As you can see, the enemy has quite an okay army, at least we are using guns, even though he has a few spearmen, but he could have put more in the front. The auto guns are killing quite a bit, but they're also getting shut down, because there's no cover. And that's a route from Elmreich. We just beat them back to, them, to their country. Um, in Sea of Plenty, we did attack the throne. I'm not sure, I think we already played this, didn't we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we played this. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. Did we, but I don't remember the national hero, though. No. Hmm. Maybe we watched it before we played. Yeah, maybe we did. Maybe, maybe we, did. we watched it, we didn't show anyone. Yeah. Uh, man brought a big army along, right here. The crossbowman did a good job at poking a hole through there, but they didn't focus on the cavalry and eventually got overrun, as you can see right there. Um, what, was, what was the one in... no. And then I don't know why, men decided to throw that at us. Thinking it was a good idea oh, or something. Oh, he might be... Um, he's the, the, uh, the mercenary is a full army, I think. Oh, like the AI think is a full army? Yeah. Oh, that, that's sad. We got shot. <laughs> we got some death gems. Because he's a mercenary, Sean. <laughs> that's sad. Some unrest and um, growth and luck. And we got a national hero. Ivan the new Cerberus man. So he's a demon. He's a demon. He's immortal. Also a very good commander. And inspirational plus two. I think he's equipped with a small auto gun. He's gonna be leading our troops. We're gonna send our troops um, to rejoin the attacking force on man. Send a force setting is going southeast towards Elmreich and probably switch towards Bogorus later on. This new force is going north straight towards Bogorus and we're still trying to contain the man situation by getting as many researchers as we can. As well as infantrymen, but will eventually keep on deploying. Okay, so I just did the moves preliminary. Lenin is gonna retreat for a bit. 
to go back home and probably forge some items for us since we'll be reaching construction uh, level 4 by the next turn. Also, next thing of the uh, list of to do things, I'm gonna do a few renaming. There's three commanders ready to be renamed. Thanks for your suggestions. As you can see on the screen right now, we're gonna start renaming commanders. Alright, so by <coughs> Alex again, we're gonna name someone Vasily. So that, that commander is alive and named. Next up is also Johan, who wants to have uh, the commander Garmet 2, who is back in the game. So there we go, I'm just gonna <coughs> switch back to alive as well. Also we have Rambling Exile, but no no no, Rambling Exile wants a tank commander, so once I get a tank I will name that. We have Vladimir Putin by v Vegata. There we go has been renamed and we'll just change this over there to alive and this time I'll make sure the naming list is gone there <laughs> so we don't have any more errors okay that party has been named the one moving over there can also be named so let's turn on the naming list once again Igor will be renamed to um, Cheeky Bricky. That's not very really thematic, but hey, we'll just go with it. Mm, Ippolit will be renamed to Dimitri uh, Petrov, I think. Proposed by Alex again. It's basically the son, the son of Alex. So, something like that. We're going to see how it goes. So, both <clears throat> Cheeky Bricky and Dimitri have been named. So, we're going to switch their status to alive. Still three more people to be named. Uh, I found out that Barda is a female name, as I was doubting. So we'll have to wait for a f uh, female commander to show up in the game. And that's it for the naming list for now. Okay, let's just end this turn. Our research is almost done. Construction, I've done some basic recruitment. We're going to get some field artillery out of there every turn to siege forts. Hopefully a bit easier. Sad thing is how few female commanders there are, so if you get a female name, it yeah. might take a while. What is going on? What? <laughs> sending... Are we playing against Marverni, Sean? Why is he sending boars at us? Okay, that's pretty... No, I don't think we'll be able to take over this battle. No, we're done. Okay, at least we tried over here. What about over there? Yeah, I think we got this one. Yeah, you could it don't do huge amounts of damage, unfortunately, so... Yeah, overrunning uh, them with so the knights is basically the idea. Yeah, it, they can they can deal with uh, high defense skill units, but anything else, there's better choices. Yes, yes, I can see that. Okay, at least we got that. We got them. We stole a small territory from them before we tried to take it back. Where did they get long dead? That's a good question. Oh, no gosh, damn legions. Okay. Hmm. I thought you said America. Manica attacking America. Uh, why is he not recruiting more? Oh, wait. I see him. Sean, go click on the units. There's pikemen. Yep. Oh, he put them in the same group? Looks like. Yeah, okay, go, go click over there. Uh, so it's okay. I saw them. This is spearmen and pike and riflemen in the same group. Yeah, but the guy. Ah, <laughs> uh, Elm is Elm has a big army. Go 
Boom. I wonder why he's recruiting villains, bro. <laughs> he likes Victor's villains. Uh. Oh, it's a throne, actually. I take that. Yeah, you took it. Have you ever found the halberd? Yeah. What's going on here? Oh, we bought an attack. Oh, uh, this time we didn't shoot the commander. Well, those are dead Ikatids. Yeah. Dead for sure. They even get flanked. <laughs> he bought weapons. And dead. I was just province defense. Scout died. Okay, so they took this province over from us. This is gonna be a rough game. Yeah, an annoying game, that's for sure. Well, we can. We're just gonna start sending you all the way there to take over this. Where, where are you actually? Where are you, Sam? Uh. There you are. Why are you hiding there? <laughs> oh, you sent me out of the territory. It's okay. Friendly problems, okay. but Vic just got conquered. Yeah, you'll be okay. I think you'll do fine. That's not good. We should we should give the sniper like two eyes of aiming just to make him blind. <laughs> Ah, oh, should I keep moving this army towards Elmreich or move it towards Bogorus at this point? I don't know. Uh, not sure. I think we just need more armies. That's, that's the biggest thing. Yeah. Okay, let's just move this one towards Elmreich for now. There is one thing that definitely Dominions 4 to Dominions 3, it's the amount of troops you need. You need a lot more troops than Dominions 4. Yeah, sometimes it's a bit too much to... Like, you know, just make everyone's life a bit easier. <laughs> And um, I think they, they also, well, the way they increased the research requirement, it, it made research and magic a bit less reliant on. Because um, Dominion 3 has lower research RP needs. <laughs> and also slow to recruit slowly a lot of nations down as well. Yeah, slow to recruit Blowing was part, bad. But I... Old age was really bad on Dominion 3. Poor Abyssia. Abyssia? I, I don't understand why the, yeah, Abyssia was created, got slow to Then was hated throughout the whole development period. What? Abyssia uh, on Dominions 1 didn't have old age, didn't have all those problems, but then as the games went forward, um, Abyssia just became useless. I think it's because Abyssia was, if I remember right, Abyssia was really strong early on. Yeah, it was. Same thing with Callum and Atlantis. Because, well, Callum um, actually was too weak, and then they yeah. someone found Quicken Cells. Quick, yeah, Quicken Cells would let you cause Thunder Strikes twice. Then you're summoned, or summoned two um, air elementals a turn. Yeah, definitely. I think we're going to get Flaming Arrows. Just to, really? Yeah, I think okay. it's, it's gonna be handy. Did we find anyone with free earth yet? No. We have a chance of recruiting a bureau engineer with free earth, don't we? Yes, we do. Wait, if we have earth four, we can just forge earth boots. Yeah, I'm waiting for construction uh two to forge construction four to oh, forge construction earth four. boots right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just uh, landing on inside searching for now. Yeah, that's what we'll do. And oh, I feel I definitely feel bad for Abyssia. They have nothing going for them anymore. Pretty much, I think 
I hope uh, I hope it does just listen a bit more to the community when um, Dominion's uh, five comes up eventually. Eventually, it should come up. They're making a dungeon program right now, so it might take a while. Yeah, I've been making that dungeon uh, pen and paper RPG thing. I think it's already released, isn't it? I think so. But Maybe they'll yeah. get but around they, to the Minions 5. Yeah, the link I sent you was, it said release, right? Oh boy. Okay, mine's bringing it. Was it really access? <laughs> oh, I'll have to check. Yeah, mine's attacking us. Hard. Uh, let's see. Well, and, Bogorus. And just go home. Yeah, and Bogorus is going into. Oh boy. Good thing I have placed my undead at the front. Let's see how you you do, car. I think the car shoots. <laughs> at first, but um, I told it to attack Rhea, so it, it should start driving forward. Did you see that artillery strike? Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm surprised our oh, car. Oh, the car is unhurt. Commander. Go, car. Yeah, go car, roll over everyone. Yeah. Vroom. Oh, it doesn't even get fatty. <laughs> okay, we'll get more cars. It seems that cars will help us in that. <laughs> well, cars were supposed to be OP, so. Yeah. Okay, we got them. <laughs> mm. Elm and Manika are fighting each other. And we took over Emerald Lake province. We are on the siege over here. Okay. Let's go break the siege. It's not a big problem for us. Okay, how many drones are we gonna have? Um, once you go there, we're done. Okay, almost there. We just have to hold out a little longer. Yeah, just to get the tank. We'll get that in a tiny bit. Yeah. yeah, let's get the tank. Yeah, we'll get the tank. Just um, also get some flaming arrows eventually. Ah, uh, let's see. There's still no one with a uh, free right from just recruited. Nope. Okay. Yes. I'll yeah, get we're gonna someone. have to forge. Where's Alex? <laughs> I wonder where he went. The, the forger. Can't find him right now. <laughs> okay, if I go with Earth 2, we'll just forge just some Earth boots and then we'll be able to get some um, Dwarven Hammers and Movers Artillery towards Elmreich because I think we might be able to just siege his stuff, destroy that uh, temple. He doesn't need it. Um, just drop some province defense inside there as well. Recruit more Bureau Engineers. We cannot recruit anymore over there. <clears throat> we can wait. Um, you can side search. Uh, let's see. Let's regroup this army completely. All right. Uh, Alex can just. We should push down. towards our besieged cap. Our besieged throne, actually. Huh? We should definitely get over to the besieged throne just in case. Yeah, but this army is heading there. Like this one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this one is heading there. Um, for them, I'm, I just want to keep pressing on, man. Otherwise, he's going to keep running around our provinces. Okay, let's just head over there. Let's see. That's a lot of crossbow, man. Okay, we'll go to the front. Hold an attack rear. Have you ever used... Thinking about it, have you ever used the mechanical men? The mechanical... I don't think we ever did. Uh, they're they're all right. Yeah, they, they're all right. They're all right. <laughs> like like they're they're definitely specialized, but they do their job pretty good. Like, like using. Yeah, yeah, they're not too bad. Yeah. Um, 
Let's see. Which is your favorite Mexican movie before? Is it the um is it the horrors? I like the horrors a lot. The clockwork horrors. Yeah. Yeah, but not bad. Not bad. <laughs> I like using them against vans. Anything that hurts vans is, is okay in my book. They definitely do <laughs> since the vans usually get there really fast before they run out of steam. Yeah. And then they get like I think it was like twenty four attacks is is crazy. <laughs> Let's see what I'm gonna do. Just chew them up. <laughs> What's it? Twelve attacks. Whatever. Bands die. <laughs> All right. One should be protected enough to move in over there. You're moving in to get the front. Uh, you know, we're searching over here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just end this turn. Uh, I think I forgot to put some province defense. Nope. Nothing You're gonna regret that in a second. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, Bogras is still pressing Shear. Um, okay. He tried to <laughs> take his stuff back, even though he's a middle aged man with almost no archers. <laughs> he didn't bring enough archers. Yeah, that's a that's a year for each man. Okay, well, he definitely has quite a size, a sizable force. Okay, so the car even rolls over cavalry, so that's not a bad thing. Wow, this car is awesome. <laughs> Oh, I kind of want to see the tank. <laughs> yeah, the tank's gonna be good. You put hold in attack, I think. It probably has a cannon. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they'll be able to withstand much. Go car! <laughs> the car won't get his job done. Yeah. Oh, they all left. Car was hungering for more blood. Okay, we definitely got this province. <clears throat> oh no, we defeated them? How? Oh, I see. <laughs> I see. So we shot at themselves, technically. Wow, props on those guys for not retreating. Okay, and then um, what are man over here with our newly regrouped army? Ah, nothing significant. He's recruiting the same terrible crossbowman when he had some of the best the one that has, in the game. The one that has even more resource curse. Does it have a plate arm? No, a skill mill. And an iron cup. Go go. Give them judgment. <laughs> I never understood uh, why some archers have such morale, yet they have good armor, so they actually cost more. Who? Some archers, like, have you seen Vanarus's archers? Oh, what are the archers? They cost more, they cost, they cost, a, I think they cost a bit more return, and they have worse morale. Oh, what? Then, the, like, the standard archers that a lot of other nations... Hey, we won this. <laughs> Look. Yeah, and all right. <laughs> he brought too many thoughts. <laughs> and 
house a nope we can't bid this <clears throat> lab exploded or something okay all right <clears throat> i think it's time for us to take a small break right there thanks for watching everyone like the video if you enjoy our content and subscribe to the channel to keep updated to the latest and we'll be back with the next episode shortly that being said thanks for watching everyone and see you soon <laughs>